Hi, this is Kai, and this is another Transformer review, and today we got Legacy Bulkhead. Of course, this is from Prime Universe, so I'm excited to see a bit more Transformers Prime toys come out because, I don't know, it's one of my top favorite picks when it comes to Transformer shows. So, I'm always excited to see more of these guys out there. So, of course, there's not much of an introduction to do. It's Bulkhead. We all know what he's about. He's the big, mean, lean, green machine that wrecks everything but can build stuff sometimes. And, depending on the series, he can just be basically a savant and know nothing but know everything about space bridges to the point where it comes almost... Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's what savant syndrome is. You don't know anything about anything else, but you do know about this one thing. And it can be helpful sometimes, but not all the time. So, let's get into the ex accessories that this big boy has. Okay, so he does come with two uh, items here, of course. Most notably, his wrecking ball. Which is, uh... Yeah, it looks different from the show, but so does this bulkhead here. So it does match this bulkhead, but still. And... You can open it so you can get around his fist so it hides his fist completely so it looks like, you know, it came out of him. So that's a really neat touch that you can open that up and you can put it around his fist. I think that's really neat. I really do like this, this item here. And next one, he does come with this gun, which looks really cool. It's all clear plastic and it has this nice gun metal gray to it. And it just looks really cool. It's a more unique design. You don't get too many guns like this. So I think this is pretty nice here. So now let's get let's get into how let's get into how this big guy looks. Okay. So first off, starting with the head here, you can see that he does not have any light piping on him whatsoever. So his eyes do not glow up similar to um yeah, similar to Trax, his eyes don't glow up either. But, you know, he still has a really good motor for his head. Looks very, very prime universe bulkhead. Very good to get that big chin in there and everything else. But from there on, other than the, the green that they have here, it's very, very different from the bulkhead that we know. He's not this, like, uh, because bulkhead in Transformers Prime was very round. He was very round and he transformed into a jeep or this one transforms into some sort of a uh, military truck uh it'd be one of the cargo trucks that they have so he's obviously very very different he's very boxy and stuff like that and even with that i still really like him he looks he, i i would i do wish he looked more like you know the bulkhead we know in prime but still he still looks pretty good here Colors are nice. I do wish that maybe it was a bit of a darker green. Yeah, a bit of a darker green. Add a bit more. Darken it up. Add a bit more blue in there. And then you'd have more of a Transformers Prime bulkhead green. So that would work very well. Like his feet kind of have more of that Transformers Prime bulkhead green there. Than does the rest of his body. Like this is kind of a perfect... No, no, not that either, because the Transformers animated bulkhead was very round as well. Wow, what was that uh, other one that looked like? Because there's a... Yeah, well, bulkhead was a helicopter, uh, but even then, it doesn't make any sense either. But, uh, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. He doesn't look more like the bulkhead we know, but he still... He stands on his own. He still looks really good. And also, this chest here... All clear plastic. All that, that hinge that's back here to there, all clear plastic. Well, other than I think like this front part here. But, yeah, that's a bit concerning there that that's all clear plastic. But it does a little, allow a little light to come through to be able to bring out the detail of those thighs there. So, of course, he looks pretty okay. Like, I still like him a lot, even though he doesn't look like Transformers Prime Bulkhead at all. He's like, he's like a, uh, which, 
<laughs> it does make me a little bit upset. He doesn't look anything like our big boy, our big lovable rock, rock bringing bulkhead that we know from Transformers Prime. But, of course, we gotta get into how does he move. Does he move anything like the bulkhead that we know? Okay, starting with the head here. Obviously, he can look up, down, all around. Other than when he gets blocked by his big chin, he has really good movement in his head. Now, moving on to the arms here. That's that. Move all the way around. Kibble doesn't get in any way. That's really good. And he does have a really tight elbow joint here, and he can go more than 90 degrees. Very sexy, I do say. And he does have a bicep swivel, and his hands can move as well. That's, so far, pretty good. And with the uh, ball here, he you can also swivel the ball as well. doesn't really matter too much, but you can do that. And moving on, he does have a waist swivel as well. The kibble doesn't get in the way. Great. And he does have... A side swivel, even though he can't rotate too much, but you can say that it does have realistic expectations for movements like towards humans, so pretty good. Amazing kick forward, amazing kick backwards, and his knees do go slightly more than 90 degrees, so pretty good there. And he does have an ankle pivot, so that's also really good, especially with this guy right here, since he is so big. You can get him into a lot of movements there. So I think they did a pretty good job with the mechanics of this guy. Especially since he is bigger. He, like, he's like he's generally... like You could put this guy in any class and he's just going to be the biggest bot of that class. So they're able to do a lot more movement with him, which is greatly appreciated. So now, since we got him all posed up and all the... Uh, all fashioned out i guess uh we can transform him and see what he looks like not as the whatever the jeep looking thing that he was in transformers prime no because we have to change it and just slap prime on it even though this guy still looks cool on his own let's transform him here is bulkhead all transformed and i do gotta say even though he does not look like bulkhead from transformers prime he is still really nice. His transformation was so... There was, a, there was problems in some areas, but it was mainly due to uh, me being dumb and less to the instructions. But the instructions, for the most part, are pretty, pretty self-explanatory. They're not too hard to follow, like some. But this guy is very, very nice. And, if you look up here, they make good use of the butt. You can see here, they actually uh, have the feet curl up here, so it looks very much like how the back of a uh, of this military, I can't remember the actual name of it, but this military vehicle would look as a cargo, as a weapons cargo, basically. And as you can see, you can fit his uh, gun and his wrecking ball in there. So I think that is a very nice touch that so you are able to have that sort of weapon storage as well. I do wish that they had something that could hide these wheels because these ones are fake wheels. They uh, are in the, they uh, usually go right back here in the, like on his back. But uh, they did not hide these too well. Like it's, it still blends in fairly well because this black bit right here. But either than that, not really working too well. And I can see everything in there. I can see his little hands in there. But the... The thing is, even though you guys, oh, you guys kind of see it now, his hands in there do kind of look like seats, like, so they're not too bad, but still, you can see his hands in there. He rolls very well, so that's always a good sign there. Very flat on the bottom, very compact. This big boy can fold and transform into this, and it's just really nice. It does really nice. They hide it very well, even though this is kibble right here. So very nice. What can I say else? Because other than like the clear, all of this being clear plastic, and I wish this was a bit darker here, and um, the these wheels not being hidden too well. Other than that, 
This is a really good transformation. This figure as a whole is really good, other than the fact that he doesn't actually look like Transformers Prime Ball Kid, but either than that, he looks really good. So, yeah. I think this guy, forgetting about how, forgetting about how he looks, and how that he doesn't look like Transformers Prime Ball Kid, forget that, forget it, forget it. This, this, this big boy right here is a very good figure on his own. So, I'm gonna give him 8.5 out of 10. He is really, really good. 8.5 out of 10. He is really good. And I think most people should get him. Transformers, big Transformers Primes fans probably won't like him too much. But, other than those people, this is a really good figure. So, he gets an 8.5 out of 10. And I guess... That's all.